Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another beautiful day on this planet and another Good Morning Soul episode to accompany it. And today, I think you guys might know the drill by now. I'm going to be doing another Pokemon character study. This is the series where I just talk about fucking characters I like. And more specifically, it's a series within a series. I'm talking about Venusaur, like, because I talk about Pokemon within this character. You guys should know it by now, just watch the two previous episodes. But anyway, Venusaur, that is today's Pokemon. That is the Pokemon of the day. I'm like the Pokemon website where I'm just like, today's Pokemon of the day is, etc. Um, you know, that. So, Venusaur is, like his two younger brothers, just a fucking dinosaur with a big ass flower on its back. And unlike its other two predecessors, the flower has now blossomed. Which is a cool concept. It's kind of like you bought, you got this Bulbasaur and you trained it and you slowly saw this flower envelop itself. And it's not just a flower. Like it's literally like this. It's like a fucking cool, like, mushroomy tree thing, with, and it's colorful with, like, these pink things and these white dots on it, but the tree branch coming out of it, it looks like this, like, weird fucking, like, it looks like some kind of weird mushroom that grew on Hawaii or some. I don't know. It's weird. And, um, the, the flowers that were, like, on Ivysaur, like, kind of hovering above it now are kind of, like, drooping onto Bulbasaur's, like sides and back and it's kind of like just giving this illusion that like he's like like he's he, he, like he chilled out and he's like a fucking like he was like this young kid then he was this punk kid but now he's like this old fucker you don't fuck with anymore like and a lot of times if you want to judge how cool a pokemon is it's like whenever in the anime they would just like the character throws out a pokemon and it would say something about that character and then sometimes they just have like a really beast Pokemon, you know, like <coughs> think if like you're on a street, like Pokemon are real. Someone just tosses out a Venusaur. Like it would be like, damn, like you gotta um, like in real life, if Pokemon are real, it's like, they're not like candy. Like that tells you something that tells you that you got a fucking Bulbasaur and you worked at it. And not only that, like if this was like the real world, that would mean he chose Venusaur over Charizard and Blastoise, which says something about him. Not only that, but like he is a poison type as well as a grass type, so that allows him to like all the cool things that are about poison types. Um, like, like he's a part of that. Like, I think that like that facial structure he's got going on, where his eyes are like really far apart. Like, poison types, like, really kind of just got to be fucking dicks, kind of. Like, they're kind of like a lot of the Team Rocket things, like, poison. Like, obviously. Like, like when I play Pokemon Go and it's, like, hazy out, the poison types come out. Or when it's foggy, I should say. Um, and that's when shit like this pops up. And Venusaur, like, it's weird. On Pokemon Go, because I live in a grass biome, like... I see a lot of Venusaur like I've I've only seen two wild Charizards I haven't even seen a wild Blastoise ever but I've seen like six or seven wild Venusaurs like it's crazy like and my my girlfriend's been there like every single time like it's weird how that happens um, and Venusaur it's his mega form just look at it like with some of the Megas, it's kind of just like, this obviously was already in its final state. Like, you can't make this any cooler. But with Venusaur, it's like, okay, we're easily able to, like, the patterns on its face give it, like, a much more distinct look. And not only that, but, like, there's, like, tree branches in between, like, it's like, the, tr the tree has become, like, an epic, like, so much more. And then he has this like flower petal on his face like this pink like it's it's, it's kind of funny looking but it's also like it's pretty sick too um and so this is the third pokemon and i'm pulling out my pokemon go okay so i have seven venusaur 
And to compare it to my the other Pokemon and I have in Pokemon Go, I have t three Charizards and one Blastoise. So that's crazy. That is crazy. Um, and I've nicknamed a couple of these. There is Toadosaur, uh, Toastosaur. Yeah, T-O-A-S-T-A-S-A-U-R. And I forget where I caught this. I think it was like at a something with the word toad in it. And that was the reference. And then, um, uh, Sorceress? Oh, I really wish I remembered the joke behind his name here. Um, but yeah, again, just looking at this dude, like, his skin is literally, like, drooping down. I think that's part of why he's, like, such a, like, epic thing. Like, his legs are all, like, far apart. Like, he, he just, and you know when Venusaur walks, like, he, like, drudges. So, you know, like, when shit gets real, like, he's, he is a protector. Like, he is the guardian guy who sits on, like, a tree trunk, and then it's like, oh, shit. There's like some monster, there's some coming to harm the forest. And like, like now Venusaur has to like shoot him down with a solar beam. Um, and I have another Venusaur called Flower Boy. And this is actually a fun story. So my girlfriend and I were out on a date and she, she was so cute that she got me flowers. And on this date, we went to the beach. And then when we got back to the car, there was a Venusaur there. So I caught it, and then I named it Flower Boy, which was not only a reference to the flowers, but it was a reference to um, the Tyler, the Creator album that came out around that time. And my girlfriend, uh, she, we went, she went on a raid, and you know I was at work, so she logged into my account so I could hopefully also get this legendary Pokemon, which she only has done like once for me. Um, and this one time she like I didn't have enough space uh, in my storage so she deletes the first Pokemon she sees and it's that fucking Venusaur that we had this cute memory with but um, the other like it was like a week or two ago um, we were out on another date and while we were out we picked up flowers for um, her mom because it was like Valentine's Day it was yeah it was on Valentine's Day that this happened so she got flowers for her mom because she's a nice person and so we saw a venusaur that day and so i was like oh shit i'll fucking catch it and i can finally get my flower boy venusaur back um and you know that venusaur like i remember watching the first pokemon like mewtwo movie pokemon the first movie and like it was so dope like seeing like this legendary like um like Mewtwo he's got all these like fucking legendary beast Pokemon and you know that like alternate version Venusaur and Blastoise and Charizard he had it was like ooh uh and it's like I have a lot more fondness for the final versions of Pokemon because like when I was playing Pokemon I was kind of just like I just want the final version of every Pokemon like I don't want the complete decks like, I just want the final form of every Pokemon because that to me that was like um saying like i've completed it like i would have one of every pokemon but obviously i'm not gonna have their earlier forms whereas nowadays as i look at everyone else and i'm like oh shit everyone's trying to collect every single pokemon so now i have to hatch a bunch of eggs and shit like shit i'm not gonna do because i don't really like play the games all that much anymore but i hope to one day but anyway venusaur he is like this elderly wise badass he is like i love venusaur if i were to rate his concept art i would probably give it like a four out of five only because like i really like this idea that this flower has blossomed and i like his like kind of like og like thing he's got going on and his shiny form by the way is uninteresting he's just fucking green and his flowers yellow big whoop but if I were to rate Venusaur as a Pokemon, I would give him a 5 out of 5. Top tier. Like, top 50 Pokemon. Because, again, he's, again, partly iconic. Like, you threw him on Pokemon Leaf Green, like, the cover, and he's just like... Like, that's the game I played. This was my first poster boy, Venusaur. Which he doesn't look like the Pokemon that would be like the cover boy. Blastoise and Charizard would obviously kind of better for that. 
But Venusaur, underrated. Underrated. He is, like, at one point, I think I, I would put him over Charizard and Blastoise. He is a badass. But anyway, those are my thoughts on Venusaur. Got a lot of memories with him. He is as uh, prominent in the anime and other shit, so I can't really uh, talk about those. But, love, love, love Venusaur. He is amazeballs. Anyway, that is today's Pokemon podcast. Thank you for listening as always. I'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Good Morning Soul. And with that, I leave.